Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here in the end times in paradise where we are now, where are we, Friday, September 24th, uh, 2021, venturing out again, uh, I, I tell you, the the age of 62 has really started off with a bang. So guess where the fuck I am going right now, guys? I am going to retrieve my uh, my ATM card from Community Bank uh, that was miraculously found this morning after uh, my 26-minute phone call uh, to those folks yesterday. and. Um, and also, as I mentioned yesterday, I got the full refund uh, for that uh, show that I was supposed to be going to tonight for my ruined birthday party over this corona panic bullshit uh, when they were trying to tell me that I had fucking missed my deadline by four days and uh, that I was just supposed to eat that fucking $200. So anyway... I can't remember, several of you uh, were censoring me for being so nasty to uh, that woman at, uh, that, that woman at, that very nice woman at Community Bank. So, before I get into this rant, guys, I've actually known that woman uh, for a while. She has helped me with some other issues at Community Bank, so uh, that, that is why she and I are on a... Uh, on a uh, first name basis and I probably would not have been free to talk to her like that uh, had I not had some uh, personal history with her but but with that minor little amplification and clarification to whoever it was and or is accusing me of being a Karen all right, for the way that I fucking handled that unadulterated horse shit that went down with uh, those fuckers at that bank yesterday, uh, I, I guess you think that I'm also a fucking Karen for, for the way I fucking handled uh, that fucking bullshit, uh, you know, from the um, from that music club in Ithaca about getting my fucking uh, refund back from those motherfuckers if uh if if demanding service from somebody is the definition of a karen i'm a fucking karen i'm, I'm guilty as fucking charged and i'm fucking proud of it when did uh when did it become a a, a you know a bad thing uh to expect fucking uh, service uh, f from, you know, fr from the these fucking people who you fucking pay to serve you. Y you know, you actually expect uh, to be fucking served by these motherfuckers, whether it's some fucking bank or, or some fucking music club or whatever, and, and if you raise a fucking stink, which is the only fucking way you can get any fucking service from these motherfuckers, whatever happened to the fucking, uh, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Hell fucking yeah, I'm a fucking Karen. And we need more fucking Karens. Uh, we need a hell of a lot more Karens uh, on the fucking planet. Saying enough of this fucking horse shit. Call the motherfuckers out on it. Now, of course, you, you know, it, it's usually some probably very nice fucking person, uh, you know, on the receiving end who's just sitting there, uh, you know, trying to get a goddamn paycheck working for these fucking uh, uh, motherfuckers that, that, that's going to get the brunt of it. But that, that's the, you know, it, it's the fucking territory that comes with the job. If part of your fucking job description is fucking P 
parroting uh, the goddamn bullshit uh, from the corporate office, fucking deal with it. If you accepted that in the job description that, that I am going to fucking defend these indefensible uh, whoever they are, be it a fucking banker, I don't give a fuck who it is. If, if your job description is to fucking defend these motherfuckers like, well, you missed your deadline. Uh, of course, uh, we never told you uh, that we changed our fucking policy in midstream. You were supposed to figure that out for your fucking self, but since you figured it out too late, you ain't getting your fucking money back or no, uh, we couldn't find your fucking card. You're just gonna have to fucking eat it and get another fucking card and go through all of this fucking bullshit because they knew goddamn well that that motherfucking card uh, was in that fucking ATM machine. They never fucking looked in the machine. They never fucking would have looked in the machine. You know, realize, realize, real lies fucking understood this. I think Colony of Cells understood this. The motherfuckers never looked in that fucking machine. They never would have looked in the fucking machine if I hadn't fucking gone off on them. Lying sacks of shit. Uh, but most people just fucking roll over. Oh, oh, it's my fault. It's all my fault. Uh, that is, it's my fault that I'm not a fucking mind reader that knew that your fucking mask policy had changed. I'll just eat the fucking $200, uh, for this show because you changed your fucking policy. It's all my fault, uh, that, that, that my bank card fell inside your defective ATM machine. So you give me this shoddy fucking, uh, machine, but it's my fault. So I'm going to sit here and go through all of this because it's easier for you to hit a fucking couple of buttons and cancel my fucking card than to get off your fat fucking ass and go open up that fucking machine and get my fucking card out of there. I, got, I, I make no fucking apologies for it. I was raised by Elaine S. Mitchell. Elaine S. Mitchell uh, was, was a fucking Karen. She taught her goddamn kids how to be fucking Karens, and, and I'm goddamn glad I was raised by a Karen. Goddamn glad I was raised by a Karen. So where is the line? So all right, you know I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking through this. Okay, the definition of the the line between being a Karen and being a squeaky wheel asking for some grease, which I think is still a good thing. When you're getting fucked, get some fucking grease when they're fucking you hand them some fucking lube so uh all right in this situation i uh, don't if, uh, if you recall the bank closed the drive through window the bank including the drive through window where you deal with a real human being closed at four o'clock i arrived at that fucking drive through window at 4.03. Dagmar, this woman at Community Bank, was sitting right there three feet from me when I pulled up there at 4.03. And I said, Dagmar, come on, darling. Uh, it's fucking 4.03. This will take two more minutes uh, for you to open that drawer and, and let me deposit this check and take some money out so uh, I can pay my worker. And, uh, and she would not do it and said, Sam, I'm, I'm counting out my cash drawer where the, the computer is shut down at four o'clock. There is the ATM right there. You can deposit that check and, uh, and get your money out of the fucking ATM. Okay, if at that point, 
I had gone off into that fucking hissy fit with Dagmar that I went uh, over the phone yesterday. And I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt if she had realized that the fucking ATM card reader was fucked up. I'm trying to give the woman the benefit of the doubt that she would have done it, uh, that she would have helped me. So I'm, I, I, I'm, I, I know the woman, and I honestly think if she had realized the ATM was fucked up, that she would have done that. But she, she did not re no, she did not realize her bank's ATM was fucked up. So, if I had gone off at 4.03 p.m. into a fucking little spoiled brat entitled uh, Karen uh, rampage, yes, I would have been a Karen. Uh, th at that point, I was a Karen at, at, at starting at 4.01 p.m., uh, you know, when the rules are set uh, and you try to bend the fucking rules, uh, I, I guess technically you're a Karen. Now, I, I could go off uh, on a whole different level of rant uh, about, uh, about that about even whether uh, I, I would have been a fucking Karen at 4.03, okay? But uh, starting at 4.03, when I was dealing with their fucking, uh, w with their fucking uh, bank machine, their, their faulty bank machine that Dagmar, as a representative of that bank, uh, you know, she was the human interface. Uh, you know, at that point, I, I, I'm not a fucking Karen. Their faulty fucking equipment fucked me, and, 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 and they were just suggesting, sorry, you're fucked, and you're going to be more and more fucked. Uh, until we get you your card back, when I knew goddamn well where that fucking card was. You, you know, like that fucking uh, music club up there a few days ago, uh, telling me, you know, to eat that fucking $200. Now, I, I guess if I, if I had been a mind reader and had, and had figured out uh, because I'm a mind reader, that they had changed their co their Corona panic policy in midstream, uh, and had gone off on a fucking little uh, anti-mask, uh, anti-vax, Karen little hissy fit during, uh, you know, before September 16th. Uh, you know, if they had offered to give me my money back, it, you know, it says if you are unwilling to, uh, to abide by this rule, we'll give you your money back. Okay, if I had found it before September 16th, and they were saying, here's your fucking money back, Karen, and I had still gone off uh, on some fucking uh, anti-mask, anti-vax, Nazi Karen rant, yes, I would have been a Karen. Uh, but after September 16th, uh, they forced me. Uh, I was not a fucking Karen. I'm not a fucking mind reader if I had not fucking gone off on those motherfuckers. Uh, you know, I would be out fucking $200 uh, on my credit card uh, for that show tonight. Uh, and, and I would be sitting around waiting and waiting for my fucking card and my fucking pin number and blah the fuck blah uh, because those motherfuckers didn't want to spend uh, probably the two minutes it, it took them to open up that fucking ATM and give me my fucking card back. You goddamn straight I'm proud of being a fucking Karen if I'm a Karen. And uh, you know, and I and I thank uh, again. I thank Elaine S. Mitchell uh, for raising her children right to uh, defend your fucking rights. 
you know, it's the same reason probably that I am an anti-masker and an anti-vax mandator. Uh, it, it, it is, it, it, you should expect when you uh, do business with, uh, with somebody, I don't give a fuck uh, whether it's some little mom and pop business or, or some, or, or fucking Walmart. If they try to fucking push you around, fucking push back. You know, that this is all a version of the, you know, my mom is, uh, how many times have I said, you know, one of my, one of Elaine Mitchell's uh, great words of wisdom to me is when somebody uh, is fucking around with you, ask for the oldest white woman who works there. Now, of course, in this case, Dagmar was the fucking oldest uh, white woman who worked there. I, I, I've only pulled that uh, a couple of times. I, you know, I've told this story before. Uh, you know, my, my brother uh, died of AIDS in 1992 when I was uh, uh, living in Eugene, Oregon. Uh, my brother... Uh, uh, it's when he died of AIDS, and you know he was basically on his deathbed. He was, uh, you know, in hospice on his deathbed, you know. And uh, my sister was calling me, you know, saying, "Sam, if you ever want, if you want to say goodbye to John, you need to get your ass back to Atlanta, Georgia. You need to get your ass on a plane." So I dropped everything. You know, I was uh, selling real estate uh, out there in Eugene. Dropped everything I did. Go, go racing up to the to the uh, Portland airport uh, to get a fucking plane to Atlanta. And, and there was one goddamn airplane uh, that was going to get me to Atlanta, Georgia. Pretty sure this was American Airlines. And so. I, uh, you know, this was 1992, a long fucking time back before 9-11 uh, and all of this TSA bullshit. So I go up there to the counter and uh, said, you know, is this plane uh, leaving in 30 minutes to Atlanta? Uh, there's still seats on it, aren't there? And, and, and the girl, this was 1992, okay? This wasn't last year. In fucking 1992, she goes, sir, well, she goes, yes, there's plenty of seats, but unfortunately, I cannot put you on that plane because the computer is down. Uh, I, I cannot... Uh, I, I cannot process your ticket uh, because the computer is down. And I said, uh-uh, uh-uh. I, I said, no, darling, you can process that ticket. Uh, I explained to her how my brother was dying. This was the last time I was going to be able to see my brother uh, before he died. And, and I wasn't going to let uh, some fucking computer glitch at American Airlines keep me away from my brother on uh, on his deathbed. This was probably about a 32-year-old black woman uh, that I was talking to. And so it, uh, it started to get fairly heated. Uh, you know, there were other people uh, who needed to get on that fucking plane also, and it was getting more and more tense around there. So, uh, you know, she's looking at the street, and all of a sudden she starts getting a lot nicer to me. Her whole fucking demeanor changes to me. And, I, and she was still not letting me on the plane, but instead of fighting with me, she took, she was, instead of playing bad cop, she had said, and I'm going, what the fuck? And I actually jumped up on the fucking counter at American Airlines, I'm thinking this was American Airlines, and uh, in, in America, American Airlines, I jump up on the fucking 
ticket counter and, and, and I grabbed the computer screen and swung it around and, and on the bottom of the computer screen it was flashing and all cap I still remember it uh, one of the greatest honors I have ever had it was flashing in all capital letters uh, with three exclamation points on both sides it said warning hostile client and and, and, I, and I'm sitting there and I just laughed I, I, I said uh, I, I said well I said so uh, I, I said I see that uh, I have some history with American Airlines and you have branded me as a hostile client and uh, and I remember turning around in line and, and telling the uh, people in line uh, I, I said guys I'm sorry, but American Airlines uh, has a hostile client, and I said, wait for this hostility. I turned around to that clueless little bitch and said, darling, I need to speak to the oldest white woman who works here to get me on that fucking plane so I can go see my brother uh, one more time before he dies. I, I wish the fuck I had had the video camera on that bitch's face. Uh, when I, I mean, the look she gave me, and uh, she didn't say one fucking word. She went ramrod straight. She wheeled around uh, like a fucking little marionette. And, and about 90 seconds later, here comes out of the back office the oldest fucking white woman working there. And within three minutes, I had my fucking airplane ticket. And she comes out and I said, I said, ma'am, I said, hallelujah. I said, I I know that you know how to get a fucking piece of paper and a big pen and, and write me a goddamn ticket to get on that airplane uh, to go uh, to, to go see my brother before he dies. And uh, she goes, "No problem, sir. Matter of fact, you're flying first class." Five fucking minutes. Uh, I had a first class ticket uh, from Portland uh, to Atlanta. Uh, you know, dealing with this fucking bullshit. You, your, your fucking computer is down or whatever the fuck it is. Every one of us deals with this. And, 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 I, and I guess all of these, you know, again, when did we become such a, a nation of little fucking pussies? At what point uh, did, did, it, uh, did it become impolite to fucking uh, demand fucking service? Uh, from from these people? I, I'm not saying you need to start out being a fucking Karen. Obviously, honey attracts more flies uh, than vinegar, as they say. Uh, but, but you know, you reach a fucking point. Uh, if the honey doesn't work, pull out the fucking vinegar. And make no apology fucking for it. Make no apology for it. Be proud of yourself. Putting up with this fucking bullshit from these motherfuckers. You know, the other fucking thing uh, I, I, I did this morning was, uh, you, you know, I, last year I went to pick up uh, Basil and Karen's dog, Cope, you know, Sancho's little cousin, and uh, I, you, you know, and I got on the fucking New York Thruway uh, for one exit coming and going. I didn't have the fucking little cell phone app. You know, that pays the fucking tickets. So, uh, you know, they told me what to do. So I, I got back home. I go on their fucking website and it says, if you don't have the app, you know, put in your license plate. I, I fucking put in my license plate uh, number and they said no records found. This was a dollar twenty-five toll each way. Two dollars and fifty cents in tolls. That, that I, and so, uh, 
I said, fuck it. So, of course, uh, I come home. Uh, so I, I said, fuck you. I tried to pay my fucking tolls, and, and, and your fucking system said there's no record found. Uh, so, I, so I fucking blew it off. It, it, was, it was a fucking uh, two $1.25 tolls. And uh, so, of course, I get back last summer, and I got a, a ream of fucking em envelopes about three inches thick from the uh, New York uh, tollway or throughway or whatever the fuck uh, that road is called. And so uh, what they did, okay, is uh, so normally what the fine is is fifty dollars for each violation each time you don't fucking pay your toll within 30 days it is a fifty dollar fine and i guess when you try to go register your car uh you can't register your car until you pay this fifty dollar fine per infraction so what they did was they split the difference and they cut my fine in half so uh, instead of a $100 fine, uh, the good old New York Thruway compromised with me and uh, made it a uh, you know $25 each way. So they charged me 50 bucks, and uh, I just paid the fucking 50 fucking dollars. Uh, to those motherfuckers. Now, of course, I'm still waiting to hear what my goddamn fines are from the Pennsylvania Turnpike, uh, from that fucking bullshit going to see Dulcinea last year. We will see if the uh, Pennsylvania Turnpike uh, is only going to find me 50 fucking dollars or a hundred dollars going to visit Dulcinea last year. But anyway, I am coming in to Community Bank and uh, to come get my fucking card. I trust there will be no fucking rant. I, uh, I see, looks like six cars, six fucking cars uh, in the line. I'm just gonna go into the fucking building. Wish me luck. This is Karen signing off. Bye guys.